Fine, thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Please, please, make yourself. Chief, mm -hmm. High Chief Raymond Dupesi. Remind me of that. High Chief Alaba Oshibwem. High Chief Alaba Oshibwem. And uh, this high priest, you all know him here, is a computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Computer mm -hmm. here. And uh, this is Oko Dig from the embassy, okay. representing the Nigerian embassy in this uh, mission. And she is a huh? okay, journalist. Uh, <laughs> Nima, all of you know. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Adams Winfrey, and I am Mr. Harry Quarren. So, this is a big guest we brought to you today because we know this book, these are the people who can partner with you, these are the people who can give you a helping hand. You know what that communication is worldwide. So we felt that it would be better for us to bring them to see you and your concept and whatever you have here, so that also we can also put forward what we intend doing to have your blessings, as you've already given us your blessings and all that. So we said you should, should come after the discussion and uh, take them around the facilities and see where we go from there. I just want to be brief. Yes. I might come back. It's again. a bike call. Yes, bike call. Sure. Thank you very much. You know, he wants all the good things for us. Yes. He's never forgotten us. Yes. Uh, we are honored, really. We are honored to receive such an important. We are a comparatively young television station. Uh, we will be great. We have more experienced people in the industry, bigger institutions. And uh, if anything, we think we <coughs> have a lot, or we expect a lot from your experience, from your expertise, from your resourcefulness, and of course, from your compassion. We're trying to grow. It's never been easy, and especially for a public and a broadcaster. Um, really, we're looking forward to partnerships of this nature and uh, partners to whom we can relate in all aspects. And I think that is what really matters. Yeah. Here's my deputy. Um, he's an engineer. He's Mr. Sanya. Yes. So, sir, really, I think this is a blessing for us in this case. And uh, we'll be looking forward to partnering with you. Um, we have problems, of course, as, a, as an evolving and growing institution. Um, we have problems in terms of capacity. We would like to partner in the area of training, program exchange, uh, and other um, areas. And uh, we will be taking you around and you will be seeing some of our facilities and installations downstairs. And then that will expose you more to um, some of the things that I am talking about here. But really it is an honor for us 
and um, really value any potential partnership that we may be going um, into new for you with you. We hope to tap into your expertise, into your resourcefulness, into everything that you can offer because we believe that you've been in this thing much longer than we've been <laughs> and then your 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 outfit is a household name across the board and uh, we believe that really partnering with you is will be one sole way of really building up our own capacity and uh, ensuring our own growth in the future thank you so very much let me Once thank again. you for the uh, grand opportunity to meet with you at very short notice i actually came into the Gambia for a rest, for a holiday, <laughs> after a very hectic uh, election. Sure. Uh, but let me say that I am a firm believer in Africa. I'm a very strong believer in building the partnership, especially in West Africa here, of the television stations for us to be able to promote and project ourselves properly, to promote the black race and to defend the black race anywhere they are. Uh, and I just give you a little bit of background. I'm sure uh, you may have had, uh, I pioneered private broadcasting in Nigeria in 1994. I started off with the uh, first radio station, Ray Power, in Lagos, Nigeria, that is now a national network. We transmit in 36 states of the Federation, plus the Federal Capital Territory. In radio, so I have 36 stations running concurrently, and as far as the television is concerned, I uh, started also with the television about one year after the radio, that was in 1995, and uh, today is the strongest private national network station, the Africa Independent Television (AIT). We took Nigeria first of all on satellite, took the whole of Africa on satellite to distribute across the whole world. So anywhere you are in the world today, you should be able to watch AIT, whether it's on the Beast TV platform, or in the United States, or in Canada, or it's in Asia, or it's in the mi Middle East. So you are able to watch AIT as a station uh, that is there. Uh, we pioneered in Nigeria 24 hours television broadcasting. What used to happen was that uh, by six seven o'clock in the evening the televisions will come on and by 12 o'clock they will close but uh, in 1995 i started that madness of running television on 24 hour basis and they say this man is mad he can never what we government stations have not been able to do how is it possible for him to do it but i did it and i've done it and both the government owned station and the privately owned station you unless you run 24 hours on radio and TV. I started 24 hours also on radio. I started 24 hours broadcasting on TV. Uh, I started satellite distribution. I was the host broadcaster for the under 17 World Cup that was held mm -hmm. and that one. So all the accolades that were te talking about mm -hmm. Africa and equipment and facilities was, born the, uh, was done by me. Uh, by the time you go to, you come to our headquarters in Abuja and that one, you will see the farm of uh, satellite dishes and so on. So we also have direct to home service to complement the free to air service that we have on uh, this thing. And then uh, the distribution that we have. So uh, it's just left to you what areas of cooperation. I wanted to definitely have a pan-African contribution. I, want, I, I don't want uh, Africans to start hearing a, the news about themselves from the oh, other right. abroad and so on. So I wanted an exchange program, and I think I came to Gambia, Gambia here mm -hmm. some time ago, mm -hmm. where I said, look, see, let us develop together jointly a television platform. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have your content for Nigerians to be able to know what is happening in the Gambia, mm -hmm. and for Gambians to know what is happening in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So that there's a proper exchange of information. Uh, this news program is content programming, the transition from analog to, tel uh, to digital, digital broadcasting today mm -hmm. brings along with it a lot of challenges, challenges. and that one. What are you able to do? Today, 
I am able to tell you very clearly that of the 36 locations in Nigeria, at least 30, 32 of them are already uh, ready to go fully digital, oh, digital. and so on. So all the equipment, the facilities, the infrastructure, from transmitter to uh, the cabling, the satellite uplink and downlink, to be able to service these areas. Nigeria is a very wide right. area Huge. compared yeah. to... Uh, so you can do fiber op optic links mm -hmm. here and so mm -hmm. on, or microwave links yeah. and mm -hmm. so on for the last mile. But unfortunately, in, as vast as Nigeria is, you have to do uh, satellite uh, links and so mm -hmm. on to be able to get across to most of those areas. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm a pensioner now. I retired <laughs> in order to be able to pursue mm -hmm. my political agenda. But I am very positive that, yes, there could be quite a lot of areas of collaboration. I will speak with my colleagues that I left behind to say, look, uh, you have a potential of collaboration here mm -hmm. and so on. And if you would like to collaborate also with the government-owned station, the Nigerian Television okay, Authority, I can also link you up okay. and get uh, this thing because as far as I'm concerned, I'm a father of the industry. Certainly. I'm a doing So <laughs> I don't, uh, <laughs> it doesn't uh, uh, make any difference. The Nigerian Television Authority are collaborating with AIT also to be able to give themselves the impetus to know about the things that are changing because the service, the civil service, mm -hmm. has the tendency to slow down. Yeah, the decision-making yeah. process yeah, is uh, very, very complicated and uh, makes things difficult. So what yeah, you actually need is mm -hmm. that you need the dynamism yeah, yeah. and the push pushfulness mm -hmm. of the private sector Sector. with your distance to be able to arrive mm -hmm. at something. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, as independent broadcasters mm -hmm. and so on, you are able to represent all sides of the story at the same time. So that makes the station believable and not just Absolutely. only singing, this is what the government wants to hear, mm -hmm. and that one, you should be able exactly. to hit at the government. Mm -hmm. the it should be the voice of the people. Mm -hmm. So unless you are able to develop along those areas, uh, and then be able to move on. Mm -hmm. The households that you have here, I don't believe that it's uh, quite a difficult one, except for the uh, huge cost of lay laying the fiber optic infrastructure across mm -hmm. to be able to get and so on. Uh, that will take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are going uh, digital right now, then you need to have quite a number of channels mm -hmm. to be able to fill mm -hmm. the platform yeah, and so yeah. on. Yeah. So how far have you gone now, engineer? Uh, <laughs> we are running a test right now here, just within the uh, greater area uh, of capital. Area yeah. of capital. Yeah. 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 Okay. They are running that of uh, Senegal too. Senegal is also running a digital test. Okay. In Dakar and uh, chess will be the uh, cities. Good. So they do the same thing for the Gambia here right now. We run a test and uh, they should be starting any moment to do the real uh, thing. So how many channels are they giving you now? Uh, at the moment, Gambia is one channel. <laughs> 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 the, the rest are coming from uh, Senegal and Nago. Yes. Yes. There is only one channel, only only one one channel. channel. national yeah. television. Yeah. You know, the good thing is that we have a fiber optic system in the Gambia already in place. Okay. You know, so that makes life easier. easier. Yeah. And since um, the ITU has issued this ultimatum that come June 17th, we should go digital, we are working fervently, you know, to, to meet this target. Nigeria will not meet it. Yeah, <laughs> will not meet it. <laughs> really? Yeah, going to we are be trying. Hard. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, exactly. There are many challenges, as you know, mm -hmm. because most of the equipment that is in place already is analog. And you know to transform all of that. The, the like cells, the uh, set of boxes. Exactly. Uh, you know. And before you start telling so somebody that he has to pay. You see. Now for this. Uh, this That's thing. right. <laughs> you see. And we also have this problem of archiving <coughs> because we have a lot of material on, on, on systems that are no longer usable. Yes. And then we need to transfer these systems. But um, well, we have the problem as well. You go to our radio. You find a city chairman of the whole place of, 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 of tapes and lights and spots. Really, they go in decay gradually. And uh, okay. if we don't do something now, it will be far too late. Yeah. 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 And even for the television as well, we have some on pneumatic systems, mm -hmm. better, and all those things. So <coughs> we need to get all those two on, 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 on the digital systems. As, as at this point in time, 
all the equipment to transfer from all those old systems, mm -hmm. pneumatic to yes. this thing, yes. they are all obsolete in America. Oh, no, so, no, this is the so the playback <laughs> system for <was, laughs> those. Uh, <laughs> but you can still get some to buy. You still can still get some systems yes. to buy to convert. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can still get uh, somebody at very very few now. Yeah. And the cost of that, are you going to NAB? Yeah. Oh, so it's late. <laughs> so I've just started. Next, next week? Yeah, sometime next week. Yeah, 13th or something. Yes, about 13th. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm too old now. I don't go anywhere. So. <laughs> no, but the experience is still there. I've been visiting IBC in Amsterdam. Uh, that is in September. That is yeah, smaller that is market. September. If you went to NAB, mm -hmm. then there's the likelihood to find some of the uh, stations no. in the US mm -hmm. that still have some of this conversion equipment mm -hmm. so all you just need to do is to s get a group of persons to start doing the conversion to uh, digital yeah. for you once they are able to just play back and so on you have them captured in your editing exactly. systems mm -hmm. and so on then you can uh, do whatever you like from there onwards but you need to have those players and for the materials not yet to have been corrupted yes. because once they are corrupted then, then they are gone then you need to be able to clean them you also buy them together with the cleaning uh, system so, so that you can restore and regenerate them. Thanks. Deeply honored for well, the visit. Really, yeah. <laughs> Deeply well, honored, definitely. Yeah. Really, we, we are honored and uh, we are looking forward to a very fruitful More collaboration. I will ask my colleagues to, to make you a yeah. yeah. Since, uh, hope to. Since I'm a pensioner now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Uh, because to add to that, um, the relations between Nigeria and Gambia, you know, yeah, is that's forever. forever, you know, and it has always been good, you know, and we all continue pray, praying that it will continue to be good. And to, for you to visit us, honestly, you know, is something we didn't even think about. <laughs> and it's, it's a great honor, to say the least, because like uh, my DG said, we're a growing institution. We're not very old, we just like two decades, you know. And when we started, we started very small, still trying, grappling. Main things are equipment and training, right. you know, about television. Capacity is one thing. Um, when we came, we were a relatively new administration because the administration changed, so we just came barely two, three months ago to try to make a difference. Now, the main challenge is in the area of programming. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody will tell you that Gambians do enjoy Nigerian programs. There are lots of Nigerian films in town. My wife, she loves Nigerian movies. You know? <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> I mean, Nigerian movies dominate uh, the movie they, they industry, dominate the movie yeah, industry here. No doubt about you that. know, so partnering, partnering with a station as big as yours, you know, I mean, only adds to, you know, what people uh, would like to see. And we'd also like to send programs from the Gambia about what prevails here. We have lots of them, and it would be a good idea to start doing it, like you said, exchange programs. So Nigerians will also know more about the Gambia. Nigeria yeah, news in particular. Hmm? News. News. Mm -hmm. And even if it is just 10, 15 minutes mm -hmm. news, yes. to be incorporated in the uh, African news yes, service yes. of AIT. Mm -hmm. Definitely. What is being transmitted across the world yeah. on a daily basis. We would, we would, we would be on more than on happy day. to get this going. Since I'm head of programs, mm -hmm. that is one of those areas that I would like yeah, to push. Absolutely. Definitely. You know, because and this is a tourist uh, country, mm -hmm. and unless you promote it positively, exactly. it, it, nobody knows. Exactly. Nobody continue. So you have to sustain that on every platform. Yes. It's not only in terms of advertorials. Mm -hmm. It's the confidence, the assurance, yeah, and the distance. Small movies, yes. small uh, this thing. Exactly. To talking about Gambia yeah. as, as a destination place, as a resting place. Yeah. Yesterday, I went to one of the hotels and yeah. so on yeah. where a fitness uh, this thing. Okay. So Relative. why do I want to go into UK exactly. to go and have a fitness? Uh, therapy. Therapy. therapy when I can come into Gambia. Gambia is just a thirty, is a three and a half hours <laughs> flight. <laughs> Uh, why do I want to go and spend dollars there <laughs> when I can spend the local <laughs> no, currency here? Definitely, definitely. So and you feel more at home. Yeah, okay. You know you are a very busy man.
-hmm. But we can go around, show you some of the places, That's the library right. and the studios <laughs> and you know. So Thank you, know. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. As far as yeah. as far as training is concerned, and so on, uh, once we are ready, we can, yeah. we can send a few persons down. Yeah. No, we'll be visiting you. In fact. We started as an educational film production unit, and we did most of the tapes on Umatic, you know, which is now obsolete. We think the machine to play that this is now available. Then we moved on and did um, VHS, you know, and uh, then afterwards uh, we did beta cam. Now we are on uh, this thing, so it's XD and DV cam. So we have four different formats. So the challenge now is to try to create a digital library where you can access all of these. Because like my DG told you, eventually most of these things will deteriorate if we don't if we don't take care. So that is uh, that's the starting point. Yeah. So but uh, small as we may be we are trying and we will learn more from you. Yeah, and you can also store in DVD. Yes, in DVD. In DVD. DVD. Yes. But then uh, it's only an issue of now if you want to refer to them, mm -hmm. how quickly from DVD yeah. you'll yeah. be able to get it. Exactly. You have to have a central storage. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe exactly. some you know, so terabytes. Terabytes, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. So, so, so exactly. you are able to link up and uh, have uh, a good uh, distance. But the best thing to just do is to get the formats mm -hmm. you, are, you have your materials mm -hmm. and transfer. And transfer. Them. Transfer. Right. And then you exactly. Just, you lock them up mm -hmm. and start digitally. You can refer to them by date, by type, mm -hmm. by listing. And you are able to play around as you didn't fit. And exactly. We'll just have the scout for a, a market to buy. Um, um, what do you call it? Umatic system. Umatic system. You know, it's, it's in the US that you can see. Okay. Yeah. 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 In the US, you should get this. Uh, in the US, because yeah. in Europe, mm -hmm. that one, those mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. are not going to They've thrown off everything that is in this thing. But you can find some old Umatic uh, players. Mm -hmm. uh, that means the ones they produced, they were not able to sell. Okay. Before that one, then you uh, can get a few of those ones mm -hmm. to be able to do the transfers. Yes. And then also upgrade. As you are transferring, transfer. you clean up and that one, see where the gaps are, mm -hmm. you are able to fill them in. And then you take the umatic ones too, mm -hmm. because the umatic will definitely have in another two years and that one. Yeah, yes, they are gone. Find them anyway. Because there is something here that I really want us to look for again. I remember when General Buhari came here in during our Golden Jubilee, when the, well, Silver, Silver Jubilee, Silver. Silver. you know, he came. You know, in those years he came, and General Babangida also came. So those are things that we have on on, on, on humanity. So it's, it would be a good idea to transfer them because that's part of the history. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, let's move on. You know, so this is the library. This library is very small. It's small. No, no, no. It's very like a newsroom resource I know, but coincidentally, it cannot be bigger than this. By the time you. You you get them on a digital platform, mm -hmm. then you discover the fact that you only need a desk. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Let us let us Hello guys. Then I'm done. Juggling, juggling, juggling. Bad You know, as head of AIT, as our news bad is the deputy head of the news by so this is where the stories are made. You know, these are supporters. Yes, it's the secretary, it's an editor. You know. Okay. Then you want to be the editor. So this is where they do it. That they, you know, the center. They put the stories together here, editing, and then you know, put everything. He's a big man, so we are very privileged that he took his time to come and see our small station.
Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. 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 yeah.